and welcome back to Open Your Eyes. Now we're here to talk about something really interesting, which is a Positive Person Movement and Awards. And we are joined by Ashton Coleman, who is a social media influencer and also on the Real Talk Show. And also Mr. Kian Alvarez, who was the winner of the award. So good morning, yeah. gentlemen. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, let's, let's put this all into perspective. Ashton, mm -hmm. you host uh, a online program it's called the real talk show, real talk uh, show. tell me a bit about what your objectives are there well the real talk show is basically about Belize like mm -hmm. you know uh, um, entertainment games fun um, topics whatever is going on in Belize it's yeah. basically just the culture of Belize you know yeah um, the whole idea is to promote different things you know you know a format that you could be real like you could be yourself you don't have to change up what you do mm -hmm. to suit you know what people want mm -hmm. you know you could come on on the show you could see what you want and and you know so basically it's just a real show that you could be yourself yeah you know? and having an, an online platform it reminds me so much of like some of the talk shows on Sirius or satellite radio in yeah. the states where you you can be as open as you'd like correct, there are no correct. limitations um, what have you found? Now, this is using um, social media specifically. That's, mm -hmm. that's a youth demographic. Correct. Um, talk to me about what the response has been since you first started the show. Well, the response has been great. Um, a lot of people love the show, like I said, because yeah. there, there's not enough real content. I mean, real real show that you could, you could be yourself. I mean, they have talk shows and stuff that you could say certain things, but you can't mm -hmm. come out there and be... 100 percent like, especially with 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 Belize and artists and stuff um when they come on the show they're like man i could say this and i could you know because you don't got no restrictions you yeah. could I, the whole idea is that you could come up here and you could be yourself yeah you yeah know? so that and the response has been great i mean um we started the show with basically two board channel e board table <laughs> you know so <laughs> and right now if you go on the set it look really nice so yeah um, and that just happened because a lot of viewers yeah. watch the show and that kind of help us to build it. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's, it's not something I get paid to do. Mm -hmm. You know, I do it because I love, I love what I do. And I love creating new things that I could have went to a real station and worked yeah. on a real station. But I like creating yeah. my own thing. And you you've, you've, you've done a lot of interviews with Belizean uh, artists, especially. Like, you're, you're really covering the entertainment scene. Yeah. Um, what about what you have discussed over the course of the show made you want to create this award? Um, well, basically the, sh the award is something I created because of what I observe mm -hmm. in Belize, you know. Um, I see that negativity that something was spread like wildfire in this country and um, there's a lot of people in you know, the background that's doing positive things that, that don't get that highlight, that don't, you know, mm -hmm. get that award. So um, the award is for those people to get recognized. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to feel that, man, like somebody, they, they, where they see you, they do your good things and you to get recognized for it. Yeah. You understand? It's not just to see a give out an award. It's so people could want to do more positive things. You know, because the country definitely need that because yeah. negative things just spread well, man, and we yeah. need more positive in the country. Yeah. You understand? So that's the whole idea. Yeah. And, you know, I, I hear this all the time, and I think that you're right. I think there are a lot of things taking place in the country that people are completely unaware of. Mm -hmm. um, when you ventured out and you put out the call, how, how did you find Keon? Okay, so... Um, when I posted the flyer, uh -huh. as I posted the flyer, because attached to the flyer, I put an email address that you could, um, let's say you have somebody in your community, you could nominate them, you could send an email mm -hmm. and tell us about the person. As I put out the flyer, we get so much email about this guy, how he, he did so much good things in his community and he did help all the kids with drumming and, he is this and that, so uh, yo, you only yeah. right that he get the first award. Yeah. You so you never knew about Keon before? I never knew Keon before. Yeah. You know, but after reading the emails and stuff, you know, he well deserved the award. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the time to be shy. Yeah. Tell us about yourself, Kian. Once again, my name is Kian Alvarez. I'm 21 years old. I'm a proud graduate from Stan Creek Ecumenical Junior College. I really thank Ash Belize for this opportunity, man, because like, like he said a while ago, negativity is something that spread well in Belize here. And then I believe that to every time someone do something positive, it's hard for them to be recognized. If you do something negative by tomorrow, Everybody it's on social media. <laughs> mm -hmm. This one make a meme about it. The other one makes a meme. From ever since I get this award from Mr. Ash Belize, you really even hear people talk about it. Just, I could say yesterday or day before, they had this situation about the, the girl and the police officer. Mm -hmm. That's already on social media. Mm -hmm. Why can't we talk about something positive? Mr. Ash Belize is doing. He has a talk show. Yeah. He ensured that he t he actually let you speak from within your heart the way how you feel, and then I believe that we should give him credit for what he has done. And yeah, well, this is I'm not ever seen. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is this is typically how it happens. You know, people who are doing things don't want to talk about it. Kim, yeah. tell us about the drumming program that you have going. Why you got it started in the first place? Okay. I must thank Stankwick Ecumenical College. Mm -hmm. From ever since I started the college, first time I went for the high school battle of the drums. Mm. I was kind of shy because I didn't use the crowd. Mm -hmm. From ever since I started, I came in first. First time I went, I would see the the tifus, the tool. Before I went, they told me this is not battle of the cheers, and they start with me get uh -huh. <laughs> writing that thing. But I believe I have a talent that. What I know, no one can take away from me. Second form, I won again. So I went first form, second form, third form, fourth form. This, this competition comprises of Ecumenical High School, comprises of Georgetown Technical High mm -hmm. School, comprises of Hulancha Technical, TCC, Wesley Junior College. So the, the organization of the High School Battle of the Drums. Actually, I'm the first person that entered the National Battle of the Drums. They removed me from the High School Battle of the Drums because they say, this guy literally put the competition to a uh -huh. peak. You win too much. So every, yeah. every, every time the students, they see me attend the show, they be like, Ah, you again? Or, you know, you don't gotta be a theater. <laughs> so I went in the year 2013. It took me from out of the high school competition, placed me in the senior one uh, along with. The senior one comprises of La Boga from Guatemala, Livingston. You have Honduras. You have Ogonane from here. You have the famous Wagara Legendaries from Dangriga. You have Hopkins. What I must say, I lost, I lost in the year 2013 mm -hmm. when I went. I went back again with Hope. 2014, came in first in 2014. I was amazed. From, from, tw from 20, 14 on up to this present moment, mm -hmm. I keep on went and. So I you're a star I drummer. That's I'm what, a star drummer. That's what you're saying. Yeah. 2019, I'm going back again because I have to defend my yeah. title because I'm the 2018 champion leading to 2019. Mm -hmm. So presently, we have the trophy with Stan Creek 
junior college. I mm -hmm. won one with the ecumenical college, uh -huh. and I won one with the ecumenical junior college. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Now, Ash, what about Keon's story um, stood out? You said you got a lot of responses yeah. nominating him, but um, what about his story was unique to you? The, the story that just that um, he helps a lot of kids, you mm -hmm. know, especially in you know, the community. And I think nowadays kids need the help, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody just growing up to me really well and stuff. So it's kind of it's kind of nice that you know somebody they, they're helping the kids and teaching them something. Yeah, you know. So that that really kind of stand out to me, and just um, the fact that the man, the man, the man really do a lot of good stuff. Yeah. You know, there's a, there's a lot of things I could go on um, yeah. from you know the emails and stuff, but just basically helping the community and just everybody saying that man, this guy really positive and uh, somebody you could always go to talk yeah. to, and you know he always uh, um, giving a helping hand. So I just me like that man, and yeah. You know. So Kian, clearly where you are excellent at your craft you could have just focused on building you yeah. but you chose to help others as well yes, uh did that happen naturally like people just started coming and asking you for help or were you seeking out people to help others be able to improve their skill level as well well it's something natural in me and then i don't like to see people actually not going the right direction so if i need to lend a hand i make mm -hmm. sure i stop even if i'm Driving, I'm walking. If I see a young lady, her bike chain is off, I try to help her. With drumming, I'm a mentor to many kids. Mm -hmm. I play a major important role in society, especially in Dangbega. Mm -hmm. I ensure that if, like what I notice many days, I'm riding on my bicycle, I see kids, Mom, that's the guy right there that plays drum. I want to be like him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> When can you teach me how to play that, that drum? <laughs> I, and then I, uh, my hand is very full. I, I, I can say I, be, I really have time for people because I'm a busy guy. I always uh -huh. doing this, I always doing that. You know, and like I believe that drumming can take you a really far way in yep. life. You understand? The Garifuna culture is really rich. Yep. I'm, I'm actually getting revenue because of what I'm doing. You understand? Mm. Not here. Not you only. You can be hired, right? People can, can hire you to play. I have, I have a, I have a fan page. Mm -hmm. What's it called? Drummer Keon Drummer Boy Alvarez. Okay. Feel free to like. Feel free to share. I feel cheated well that you didn't bring Ash your drum Ash for us. <laughs> sure. I'm sorry, I bring it. I know. <laughs> Make me see your exceptional skills. No worries. Yeah, but I'm also on YouTube. Yeah. You can also look up. Can. A lot of people in this country do things just they don't they don't want recognition they don't you know like somebody asks for help they're gonna help you know they don't think of anyone paying attention when ash contacted you and said he wanted to give you this award what was your reaction <laughs> i must say that from ever since ash Billy's talk show came about i ensure that i followed it I, I see what was his objective mm -hmm. about the show because I know they have plenty of show in Belize mm -hmm. and his show is, is slowly building. Mm -hmm. but actually, right now it's at the peak because you have top musicians that's on his show. Mm -hmm. You have people that play, play a very important role in society. I literally stayed up the night. I told my girlfriend, I really want to see who win this award. But I believe it's me because I ensure that I was in the background feeding my Facebook fans, mm -hmm. friends, to give me the support, man. We yeah. need to make we need to make Stan Creek on that map because yeah. as you all know we are forgotten in the south and I, I would really want people like Mr. Ash Belize to do more programs like this, not only the positive Belize Positive Person Award. They have many things that you can do. Yeah. You understand? And then I I was literally amazed. Minutes after he contacted me mm -hmm. 
your awareness award, congrats. And I tell him, thanks a million. I was so <coughs> chill. <laughs> I couldn't sleep. I start share on Facebook. <laughs> I thank the people. I thank the people yeah. that, that voted for me, nominated me. Plus, yeah. I nominated myself. Yeah. Yeah. So, Ash. <laughs> Are you, what's the plan with this award? Is it on an annual basis as someone's identified? Well, uh, um, the plan is to do it every month. Okay. You know, I'll pick different people because I already have so much people in the in the email already. So my plan is to choose a person every month and, you know, give them an award. But um, that that is something that we need support with because getting trophies and stuff made, yeah. you know, is not something that you could just yeah. get free. So, um, and also certificates and anything. That, so it's something I want to do every month, you know, just to help push positiveness <laughs> all over Belize. Well, you know, I don't see why anyone would shy away from sponsoring a positive person award. Yeah. So, so hopefully um, someone in the business community hears that. I have to say um, thanks to Diane Finnegan and mm -hmm. also OJ. They helped me to get the, the first award mm -hmm. done. So. Um, mm -hmm. Shout out to them, but yeah, if you guys want to, you know, help the initiative, you could always contact me at six one four four two three two, or you could just email Belize Positive Person Award awesome. at gmail dot com. All right. Know, so. Well, I think you know it. It seems to me what you're trying to do is not only is to recognize people in society who are contributing and also to keep it going. The more exactly. people are seeing it, the more people yeah. will want to get involved. And we really wish you the best of luck on that. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming in as well, Kian. Next, we'll see you uh, on a, a European tour like we see with Garifuna <laughs> Collective, right? Yes, ma'am. All right. Best of luck. We're going to go ahead and take that final break now. And when we come back, we'll have a wrap-up. So stay tuned.